Secretary General, ladies and gentlemen of the press, welcome to this uh, press conference. I would like to join the Secretary General in thanking you for heeding the call at short notice. On the 25th of August 2023, ZEC announced the final results of the harmonized election. This is an election in which the MDC was completely excluded. As a true vanguard of the people, the MDC correctly fought against the delimitation report. The delimitation report was fundamentally flawed and we raised that through the parliament and through the courts. Unfortunately, we could not get ju justice. However, when nomination came, in apparent response to our fight against delimitation, the Zimbabwe Election Commission unfairly and vindictively excluded 87 of our parliamentary candidates. There was selective application of the law against the MDC by both the Zimbabwe Election Commission and the judiciary. It is now common cause that critical funds meant to train and deploy polling agents for the three political parties in parliament, the C, the ZANU-PF, and the MDC were vetoed out by ZANU-PF. This meant that other political parties were unable to safeguard the vote. There was also unfair access to the media, especially the state media. The MDC therefore pulled out of the presidential race in solidarity with the disenfranchisement of 87 of its candidates. We accordingly called for a boycott of the presidential election. We noticed from the statistics that 2.6 million, almost 2.6 million Zimbabwean voters stayed away from this election. Obviously, obviously, this has to do with the fairness or unfairness of the playing field. The issues we raised, especially the delimitation uh, uh, issue, was captured in various reports by the observers, including the SADAC observer mission. We maintain that delimitation was fundamentally flawed. And this delimitation has to be fought and has to be revised. This is because this delimitation is going to govern the 2028 elections as well. We totally disagree with the bashing of observers by whoever are in this country. When you invite people to observe your election, when you invite the regional bodies, continental bodies, intercontinental bodies to observe your election, you must be prepared for the criticism that come with their observation. They are not observing this election in order to tell you what you want to hear. The delimitation, as I said, was fundamentally flawed and, not, and cannot be the basis of a free and fair poll. What this uh, has shown is that free and fair elections without electoral reforms are a waste of time. On the way forward, ladies and gentlemen, this country is, need, is in need of serious reforms, including social and political reforms. We have to make sure that there is a reinstatement of the sovereignty of the people to make free choices without hindrance. 
we need comprehensive reforms. The delimitation has to be completely redone. The nomination fees have to be to totally scrapped as they are an instrument of mass disenfranchisement. The people of Zimbabwe in their constitution gave themselves the right to vote and be voted for in section 67 of the constitution. That right has been taken away by these exorbitant fees. These, the exorbitancy of these fees is unprecedented. ZEC as an election management body has to be totally reformed. It is not fair, it is vindictive, it is selective, and it is subjective. What is the Zimbabwe Election Commission has done is to send a signal that whoever opposes it, whoever takes it to court, will face the consequences. The MDC dares the consequences. We call upon the, disband the disbandment of paramilitary groups that seek to interfere with elections. And of course, there must be complete demilitarization of election management. All forms of disenfranchisement of our people have to go. In particular, the Minister of, Info, the Minister of uh, uh, Finance has uh, time and, and again heaped praises on the diaspora that they are remitting funds uh, to Zimbabwe. So they are dis, 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 dispatching a a, a responsibility. But there cannot be responsibility without rights. Therefore, we need the diaspora vote. Because there are more than 4 million Zimbabweans of voting age who are living beyond our borders. They have a vested right in the future of their country. And they must have the right to vote. So the, the issue of the diaspora vote has to be reinstated. Of course, this government has to follow through all the recommendations of the, um, of the observer missions. Therefore, the MDC reinstates its call for national dialogue. National dialogue which must be inclusive, unconditional, and genuine. And this dialogue must include political actors, civil society actors, churches, and other stakeholders. Among other things, this dialogue must be, aim, must be aimed at reforms that ensure that there is, among other things, an even uh, uh, playing a field. This dialogue must also be aimed at improving the lives of the people of Zimbabwe. There is no question that looking at what has gone on, the economic and political and social life of the Zimbabwean person will not be transformed for the better. So as the MDC, we reinstate our call for dialogue. And this dialogue has to be heeded by everyone. We called for the dialogue, for national dialogue, which was spent by ZANU-PF and the government. And this dialogue was derided and condescended upon by fellow opposition members. We have to unite as the opposition when it comes to these issues. Had everybody heeded to our call for dialogue, we may have averted issues, uh, the issues around the delimitation, around the exorbitant fees, around the selective application <coughs> of the law, and around our ability to protect the vote. We may have averted through dialogue at the issue of the unilateral veto of the uh, polling agents training and deployment assistance that we, that we were given by the European Union. I am aware, of course, that there are political parties who braved it out and went into this election. And right now, I can say with certainty that they had problems of raising polling agents. There are certain polling stations 
where they were unable to fill the polling agents. So dialogue is extremely, extremely important. And again, in calling for the unity of purpose of all progressive forces, we call upon the opposition to act in common purpose. We remember that when we waged the, the, the fight, the, the genuine fight against delimitation, some people send lawyers to thwart that legal battle. And now this issue of delimitation has come back to hound us. As the MDC, we stand for the unity of all progressive forces for bringing true democracy to Zimbabwe. As the MDC, we are pro-people. We are pro-poor. We want the Zimbabwean people to live a better life. For that reason, we want the sanctions against Zimbabwe to be removed. But those people who impose the sanctions have heard their conditionalities. And one of these conditionalities is, the, is, is for us to have truly free and fair elections. And that's why the MDC have been at the forefront of fighting for, for, for free and fair elections because the MDC is against the sanctions. And we need to reinstate dialogue as a way of, of, uh, as a way of convincing the world that we are for reform and that we deserve international integration and sorry, the integration of Zimbabwe into the international community of nations. We remain a responsible party, a patriotic party. Zimbabwe is for all of us. And in this regard, I want to pay homage to the people of Zimbabwe for the relative peace that we saw. I'm using the term relative because in some instances um, there was peace. Uh, in some instances there were uh, skirmishes that did take place. Uh, in some instances, of course, I am aware and we are aware that there was harvest of fear. But relatively speaking, on a positive note, there was relative peace in our country. We want to maintain that peace. And we want, as the MDC, to make a clear message to this government. We shall not accept to, to be treated as second citizens in our country. We have the right to participate in the election. We have the right to be voted for, or not voted for, to contest elections. We have that right. But that right was taken, us, was taken away from us by this government in this election. And we are not asking for that right. We are demanding that right. We are not waiting to be freely given this right. We are going to take uh, the, 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 this right. And uh, to, the, to the Zimbabwe Election Commission, they have read, let the people of Zimbabwe down and they have to go back to the drawing board. On the part of the MDC, we remain a true vanguard of the people. We have been vindicated by the recent history. What we warned uh, uh, would happen in Zimbabwe has come to pass. That the delimitation was going to be a source of problem, it has come to pass. That the mass disenfranchisement of people will not end with one political party, it has come to pass that we need electoral reforms and that without electoral reforms there cannot be free and fair election it has come to pass it has come to pass of course that the panacea to the political conundrum of zimbabwe is dialogue it has come to pass so maybe at that point in time the F the mdc was a party which was ahead of its time uh, other actors have, have caught up we are happy about that and uh, we are not going to be saying we told you so. We are going to say let's work together for the betterment of Zimbabwe. We remain a patriotic party. We love our, 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 our country. And we love our country not less than in our, anyone else. And we, have our, we want to defend our birthright as the MDC. Uh, thank you very much.